So let us start the second half of forced convection. So we completed one half of forced convection that is flow over flat plates. Now when I consider flow over flow inside a tube or flow inside a duct or something like that, that is an internal flow. Okay. There are few background works which has to be done before actually starting to discuss about Nessel number and all those things. Okay, that is the actual concept of convection. What are all those background works? See, we already know, uh, we already discussed few things related to what we are going to discuss now in fluid mechanics itself in the chapter of laminar flow in the chapter of turbulent flow. So my request is to go through laminar flow. Even you don't need turbulent flow also, but majorly you need laminar flow chapter before starting this. So go through laminar flow once. If you go, if you gone through that properly, then you will have a proper continuity from that. Okay, just take your notes, revise it and then come back for this lecture. Okay, right. So let us start. First of all, when you have a pipe here, okay, when you have a pipe here, when fluid flows inside a pipe, initially with a free stream velocity, you infinity let it be. And when it flows inside a pipe, what's going to happen? We know that there is going to be some entrance length and then there's going to be fully developed region where in that fully developed region, we will be having a velocity profile like this. What again, anyways, I'm going to discuss about that entrance length and fully developed region um, after one or two videos, maybe that time again, I will be recollecting it. But to have a clarity, go through laminar flow fully, then come back here. Okay. So we'll be having some entrance length and then we'll be having fully developed region. In fully developed region, there will be fixed velocity profile. And on the surface, this is a this is a circular pipe. Okay, this is a circular pipe. So on the surface, okay, on the surface, velocities will be zero and velocity will increase from the surface until the center okay so velocity is going to vary continuously it's not going to be constant okay so velocity will be function of r so there will be development of velocity profile so in order to find out mass flow rate or in order to find out discharge of this what i would have done it recollect it i'm not going to make it clumsy here but what i would have done it i would have taken a small strip or or I would have projected here and I would have taken a small strip there and from that small strip uh, I would have found out the discharge through that small strip then integrating it I will be getting the actual discharge and now instead of considering the actual actual velocity profile what we will do in fully developed region of laminar flow or even turbulent flow in case of turbulent flow we will get a logarithmic profile in case of laminar flow we will get a vel velocity profile which is uh, parabolic okay whatever may be but what we will do we will assume that instead of uh, instead of having this variable velocity we will assume the velocity to be constant that is we will take a mean average velocity okay we will take an average velocity between zero and this u max this average velocity v okay this average velocity v is going to lie between zero and u max see all these things have been already discussed to you so please go back and refer laminar flow chapter of fluid mechanics then come back to this please please okay so velocity v okay this is average or mean velocity and that velocity will be lying between what zero and u max and how to find out this velocity I hope you remember we will be finding out discharge from this velocity profile and then we'll be finding out discharge from the average velocity profile this is what average velocity what is discharge in this case q is equal to or volume flow rate whatever okay volume flow rate okay v dot uh, yeah so v dot which is equal to uh, discharge is going to be equal to what area into velocity area this cross section area let me take it as pi by 4 d square so pi by 4 d square into velocity average velocity if i want to find out mass flow rate mass flow rate then it is rho a v right where v is the where v is average velocity please don't forget this is Kennedy equation right and this is going to be equal to rho into pi by 4 d square into v okay this is mass flow rate anyways in case of velocity analysis in case of laminar flow I will be taking this discharge that is the discharge which is calculated from average velocity I will be equating with the discharge which is calculated by using actual velocity profile by equating those two I will be finding out v the relation between v and v max and v and u max and all those things will be determining it i hope you remember it from laminar flow concept this uh, recollection i hope it will be enough and one point to note here is once after reaching fully developed region okay once after reaching fully developed region this velocity profile will be constant it's not going to vary okay here also the same velocity profile here also same here also same here also same so velocity profile will remain same it's not going to vary if velocity profile doesn't vary then obviously average velocity is also not going to vary because area is going to be pi by 4 d square um, 
discharge will remain constant if discharge remains constant uh, if diameter is constant because it is it is a uniform diameter right diameter remains same so if diameter remain constant area remain constant then velocity will also be constant throughout okay at each and every section velocity won't change so with respect to x okay this is x direction okay with respect to x average velocity won't change in a fully developed flow okay for a what is that uh, for a laminar flow or even for a turbulent flow also now coming to temperature same only same instead of analyzing it only with velocity now i'm going to analyze with some temperature the fluid is flowing with some velocity v infinity and also with some um, what is that free stream temperature t infinity in in this case we analyzed only velocity but now what's going to be there it's both velocity and temperature profile will be there velocity profile will be similar to this and similarly you will be getting average velocity and temperature profile let me assume this okay let me assume this see if surface temperature is greater than ambient temperature then surface temperature will be maximum okay this is going to be maximum and how the profile is going to be the profile is going to decrease the temperature is going to decrease in this way and similarly top also uh, ts okay top also ts and temperature is going to decrease and we are going to minimum temperature at the center i hope you could you could recollect it it's not going to happen i'm showing you only 2d but if you consider the pipe it's going to be 3d okay, it's going to be 3d so at each and every point at each and every point on the surface okay at each and every point on the surface of this a uh, surface of the cylinder from there temperature will be decreasing okay from there temperature will be decreasing and temperature will be minimum at the center okay if if ts is greater than t infinity what if, if ts is less than t infinity let me just show you but we are not going to concentrate on that much okay hmm what if ts is less than t infinity then obviously ts is going to be the minimum one okay we'll be having minimum ts here and temperature will increase 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 and it will reach maximum here and similarly temperature will increase 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 and it will reach maximum here okay so we will have t max at the center this is possible when ts is less than t infinity so we already know this right the same velocity profile which we got in case of uh, what is that um, flat plate okay if it's a flat plate how it will be it's going to be like this is going to be this is going to be minimum okay and uh, this is how i'm going to get okay this is how i'm going to get when if ts is less than t infinity and similarly similar to this we'll be having a top side also that is what we are getting here okay maximum temperature at the center and minimum at the surface okay this is the case when ts is less than t infinity this is the case when ts is greater than t infinity okay now coming back to what we need here okay listen so now we got that we got a velocity we got a temperature profile okay we got a temperature profile here where surface temperature and then temperature is decreasing and it is reaching minimum temperature which means at each and every section the temperature profile the temperature is not going to be constant if i take some section here that is going to vary right as you could see at some particular section x it's going to vary let me take it at some particular section x okay at some particular section x over this cross section over this cross section the temperature is going to vary it's not constant now again same as that of what we did in case of fluid that is laminar flow here i'm going to assume a constant temperature over particular uh, what is that over particular uh, section okay over particular cross section okay so again that temperature is going to be greater than this t minimum okay it's going to be greater than t minimum but it's going to be less than ts okay it's going to be less than ts but it's going to be greater than t minimum so let me take it somewhere here okay this is t minimum let it be so so draw it search away that this temperature okay is going to be lesser than ts but greater than t minimum and that temperature is the mean temperature at some particular section x okay so at some particular section x okay the same section okay you consider the same wherever i taken if it is 5 meter from left side same 5 meter from left side okay at some particular section x the temperature in actual case will be continuously varying okay uh, if ts is greater than t infinity ts is going to be greater at the surface and t minimum okay we are going to get minimum at the center if uh, i want to convert it into an average value i'm going to take some average value between this t minimum and ts and how to find out this t minimum t mean okay this is actually this is actually mean temperature of the fluid at 
at any section okay at any section x now how can i calculate this how can i calculate this mean temperature of the fluid at any section x hmm. see same as that of what we did here here we applied mass conservation okay we equated discharge but actually we equated uh, mass flow rate but density will be same because of incompressible nature so we'll be equating discharge for finding out the velocity okay sorry for finding out v okay let me just write this as q okay for finding out the v average velocity now if i want to find out the mean velo mean temperature of the fluid sometimes it is called as bulk mean temperature also but most of the time i will be i will be mentioning it as tm that is mean temperature of the fluid at any section x okay for finding this what i need to do as usual what we did in case of uh, fluid mechanics i need to take i need to take a small small elemental ring okay i need to take a small elemental ring at some uh, just consider that it is an elemental ring okay so i need to take a small elemental ring and i need to analyze that small elemental ring but what i will be doing here i am equating the mass flow rate right mass flow rate or discharge of the actual profile with the average profile and there i need to equate the energy okay total energy at the, at a particular section okay total energy at a particular section which we are going to get by considering considering it to be mean temperature that total energy has to be equated with total energy at the same section okay whatever section i am taking here so total energy at the same section same section by considering this variation in the temperature profile and um, what is that uh, by considering this variation in the temperature profile we need to find out the total energy and by equating those two i will be getting the tm value okay there are there is one time recently asked one question from this topic okay in gate okay so it's very simple actually what i need to do first of all what's going to be e um energy i will find in terms of rate or rate okay that is uh, in terms of uh, power okay so energy by considering total energy by considering tm okay i will write it as um, yeah average okay but this is total energy by considering tm so what is going to be see in general it's very simple m into c into that particular temperature mcp into that particular temperature okay so here since it is flow rate m dot okay mass flow rate at that particular section into cp see this is fluid for fluid cp cv c everything is same only so if you take c or cp or whatever it's up to you okay m dot into cp into temperature at that particular section tm this will give me energy uh, energy the fluid is carrying by considering tm as the temperature tm as the average temperature okay what is mass flow rate now see we already know it is rho into pi by 4 d square into v v is the average velocity please don't forget okay so rho into pi by 4 into d square into v into cp into tm so this is our total energy at some particular section x by considering tm okay by considering the mean temperature now how to find out total energy by considering this velocity profile see this velocity profile t okay that is going to be some function of r this will be given in the question you don't have to worry okay it will be given in the question how temperature is varying with respect to r it will be given in the question how velocity is varying with respect to r we already know from lavinar flow i hope you remember okay if even if you don't remember also most of the times if they are going to ask question from heat transfer they will be giving you so how velocity is varying with r how temperature is varying with r we know that now how to find out at some particular section okay at some particular section r that is at, at some particular radius r the temperature is going to be t of r velocity is going to be u of r and through this small area okay through this small area through this small elemental strip what is going to be the energy which is which is going to pass through how can i find out small energy through that small area what is the small energy simple the same formula uh, what is the density into area into velocity okay density is what first of all density is not going to vary it's going to be rho only okay but what about velocity at some particular radius r velocity is going to be some velocity which is going to be function of r okay some velocity which is going to be function of r let me write it down here rho into some velocity which is function of r into rho v into what is the formula 
rho v into a right so what is the area now what is the area this elemental strip area okay 2 pi r will give me uh, perimeter and if you multiply with dr it will give me the area so 2 pi r into dr this will be my de okay and this is my uh, total energy by considering tm and this is um, energy which is which which the fluid is carrying through this small area if i want to find out the total area let us consider let us consider the radius is capital r okay if i want to find out for the total area by considering the radius to be capital r what i will do i will change this also okay i will do small change here also pi instead of writing pi by 4 d square i can write it as pi r square right pi r square into average velocity capital v so here also pi r square okay so here radius r so r is varying from r is equal to 0 to r is equal to capital r so e by considering the actual okay by considering the actual velocity profile that's going to be equal to integral from where to where from radius 0 to radius capital r from radius 0 to radius capital r rho into u i'm sorry rho into u of r into 2 pi r dr i forgot one very important point m into cp into tm right i forgot to mention cp tm there i'm sorry i'm very sorry i'm very sorry i'm very sorry cp into what about the temperature here temperature at any section temperature at any section r that's going to be t okay let me erase it and write it here okay i don't want to confuse you guys let me do it let me write it down here again listen listen de okay that's going to be dm the small mass okay into small mass flow rate of course into um, small mass flow rate into cp okay into temperature at the section r okay de d is what L, uh, the energy which is passing through that small elemental strip okay through this elemental strip whatever the total energy which is falling okay that is going to be dm that is mass uh, the small mass which is passing cp is specific heat tr is nothing but temperature at any radius r okay now dm is what dm is something which i found out uh, density into area area is what 2 pi r into dr and what about velocity u of r am i right and what about um, cp is there and t of r is there okay now if i want to find out by considering the actual velocity profile total energy by considering the actual velocity profile i need to integrate it from zero to capital r what i will do rho 2 pi into cp into t of r into u of r into d of r okay that is into dr okay rho 2 pi and i am taking cp and writing here and t of r is there u of r is there dr is there okay so this is this is what this is total energy at a section x which we calculated by considering the temperature profile and this is the total energy which we got let me write it down in bracket okay because you, you should not get confused right see average means it doesn't mean that average energy average means it is total energy only but by considering um, average temperature by considering the mean temperature at a section x so at the same section x this is the total energy which we are getting by considering the variation so now these two energy should be same okay if i consider the variable if i consider the temperature variation or if i consider temperature to be constant at that particular section okay, at that particular section x the energy has to be same so that is the logic here simply equated okay so those two should be same e average should be equal to e actual okay let me just take this also in bracket if i do it rho pi r square into v which is uh, capital v is average velocity cp into tm which is going to be equal to integral over first of all before integrating it i will take all the constants outside density is constant two base constant cp is constant i can take it outside temperature velocity it's a function of r so i cannot take it outside they are functions they are functions that has to be inside the integral so constant i will take it outside rho 2 pi cp integral of tr i'm sorry tr into inter ur 
dr integration is from 0 to r okay now cancel the stuffs cbcp will get cancelled and rho rho will get cancelled i hope that's it right and pi 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 will also get cancelled so finally my mean temperature of the fluid at any particular section x that's going to be equal to this r square v again bring it down so 2 by v into r square into integral of 0 to capital r t is a function of r and u is a function of r into dr and this is our final formula t as a function of r what is the temperature profile that will be given in the question u as a function of r mostly they will be giving in the question but if but it's better you remember the laminar flows velocity profile which has been already given in uh, fluid mechanics okay final conclusion so it's better if you remember this formula okay this is the formula for finding out mean temperature at any section x okay mean temperature at any section x now coming to the last conclusion okay so there is one mistake which i did here actually i forgot to take this um, r okay so here r is there right and i was writing this i forgot to take this r here okay it's my mistake so here also that r will be there okay if i want to modify this okay this equation okay this r will be there here okay r into dr and similarly my final equation also i will be having a r so i forgot to mention that r okay now let us proceed to the concluding remark see when we see uh, flow through pipes okay flow through pipes and when i consider average velocity v okay average velocity v okay and this v will remain constant from uh, when it is a fully developed flow okay when it's a fully developed flow that velocity v is not going to change very well known okay diameter is going to be same uh, that is not even for a fully developed flow if diameter capital d is same average velocity will be same so it's not going to vary okay mean velocity is not going to vary if diameter is constant but when it comes to temperature okay we know at some particular temperature at, at some particular section we have mean temperature tm am i right mean temperature tm but here what's going to happen is the mean temperature is not going to remain same why because surface temperature is ts right and ts is always greater than t infinity okay which means ts is always greater than this mean temperature also so continuously heat will get transferred from the surface of the pipe to the fluid okay continuously heat getting transferred from surface of the pipe to the fluid so if the heat is continuously getting transferred the tm value will be continuously increasing when when ts is greater than t infinity if ts is less than t infinity then continuously heat will be rejected from the fluid to the surface so surface temperature will be continuously decreasing so mean temperature will continuously decrease repeating it when surface temperature is more than that of fluid temperature then fluid surface is going to continuously uh, transfer heat to the fluid as it is continuously transferring heat this mean temperature will increase if fluid temperature is greater than surface temperature heat will be continuously rejected so surface temperature is going to increase okay ts is going to increase continuously um, i won't say that ts is increasing if i consider ts is constant it won't increase but we, we will discuss about it we will discuss about it but essentially but eventually the thing here was the mean temperature is not going to be constant if ts is more heat will be rejected to the fluid mean temperature will increase mean temperature of the fluid will increase if ts is less then heat will be rejected heat will be rejected outside so mean temperature of the fluid will decrease so what we are going to do at the inlet of the pipe let us consider this is inlet of the pipe and let us consider this is outlet of the pipe okay so we will take t i t o okay t i is nothing but mean temperature at the inlet see i am not using tm but ti in the sense ti itself it means it is mean temperature because in reality temperature will be varying okay so ti indicates mean temperature at the inlet as mean temperature is continuously varying at the outlet also i will be having a different temperature so let me take it as mean temperature at the outlet okay and now finally tm is what mean temperature at some section at any section x okay at any section x 
I hope you got my point. So mean temperature of what? Mean temperature of fluid. So that mean temperature of the fluid is not constant, it continuously varying. Okay.